Oh, the best news. I think all of the classical era writers are going to be taken up. So that's a good sign. The AI is building enough writers to make this interesting. I don't know what victory we're going to be going for, to be absolutely honest with you, because the AI wins on this map so quickly. I'm going to need something fun, but we'll try. We'll try something entertaining. Uh, settlers, I don't need that card anymore. Let's put builders in. Urban planning is still good. Veterancy is still wonderful. Excellent. And we've just chopped out the ancestral hall. That means researcher can be obtained in Hong Kong. Beautiful. And now when I settle this city on a new continent, Bradford. Oh, joyous. I've got the builder in that can be used. Oh, the Royal Naval Dockyard is going to be glorious here. Plus four already. That means it'll be effectively plus six. Let's go and work all of these luxuries. Mongolia. No, sorry. Kubai, China. Wanted to meet you. Somebody hospitality. Berlin. Hmm. I think I might know why Ludwig's not doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> Something gives me a little suspicion that I may have figured that mystery out. Oh yeah, the iron is beginning to cook up really nicely in terms of its value. I'm just holding on to it. The AI with Roman Holiday on seems to value strategics and diplo favor and all this sort of stuff more valuably if it can buy more in one go. I don't know if that's a deliberate thing or not, but it's it's interesting. So it's, it's meaning I'm having to sort of think twice about how I sell stuff. It makes sense to hold on to it for a little bit longer. Yeah, all right. I'm going to break 300 gold for all of my iron. Yeah, selling it to Coupe is not going to come back and bite me later. Of course it won't. And the next settler. We've got one going on down there. And I think I'll send this one to the north, maybe? Or shall I go and stop Vietnam? I'll go and stop Vietnam, yeah. I can just see that being a bit of a pain if I don't get that city down quickly. Coupe has denounced me because I'm not treating the environment well. Coupe is probably the most scary of everybody that I could start to mess with because of the sheer capacity Coupe has to spawn a navy. And it looks like they've got characters already. You can tell just by the garrison strength of their cities there. Yeah, I'm a little bit away from that, but I can get a great admiral. Now, do I want to get this admiral? Do I want to wait for another one? I would quite like a crack at this one that gives me plus three combat strength for all naval units permanently. So we're going to pass and see who pops up next. Maybe we'll get lucky. There we go. I ran a little bit of a restart and it's working again. We can see the diplomacy. Excellent. Now I know exactly why everyone dislikes me, <laughs> which I guess is a bad or good thing. Young Lei is pleased with my positive income. Oh, everyone's on minus 12. Vietnam is probably the first person to work on here. So we'll offer open borders. That'll give her a little bit of a friendship boost to me. Plus three. Yeah, there we go. It's just Cameron she's at war with. So we can send her a delegation in a second. That might work quite well. Indonesia also doesn't mind the fact that I am not on any of her islands. So maybe that's a relationship we can work on as well. Bradford. Cannot get spices because I don't know what a plantation is. What is this? I don't really know what's going on, but there are so many barbs outside of Bristol. They're not attacking, and I'm not attacking them. There's this weird, uneasy silence. I don't know what's happening. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. I'm just gonna stay silent on it and hope that it'll all be good. There we go, some spices. Anyone want to buy these? They're lovely. So flavorsome. Yeah, Japan's all over it. Amazing. Leith Erickson. Oh, I'm gonna actually claim you, and yep. Yeah. Okay, we got a bit lucky. I'm might be able to still claim the one I well, uh, would like, but this is a quick and easy way to do some early game exploring. Plus one sight range for all naval units is very handy, but this is the galley that was trying to discover this end of the map. I think I might actually have to wait on this because I don't want to do it this era. I want to actually wait and do it the era after, although Coupe is probably going to unlock that first. Come on, Vietnam. I want to be friends with you. Give you a gift. How much will a hundred gold change you? Plus one. Oh, fine. I'll give you a second 100. You better be... Oh, they really don't like it. Oh, Oh, the AI is being rubbish. I was just trying to make friends with her before I settled these two cities, but I don't think it's worth it. Wasted a little bit of gold on that. Never mind. It's fine. Where are the best trade routes now? To the capital. Oh, yeah. Have they got a harbor now? They've got a harbor now. Excellent. Oh, Vietnam. We've really got to be friends now. Pingala, extra grants. That's a few more admiral points per turn. My Royal Naval Dockyards are doing a really good job on that, but we can probably push that a little bit higher. Almost up to feudalism now. Although naval infrastructure would also be pretty handy with harbor bonus. All of the writers have been taken. Fantastic. Time to start trading with Vietnam. This is actually a pretty safe route as well, which is pretty cool. But the more their capital improves, the more gold I get from these routes. Medieval fares boosted. That's what you like to see. Open borders is good. Friendly meeting is good. Not even bribing her anymore. Come on. Be my friend. Just do it. Okay, this warrior may die doing this, but there is a barb camp that I can kill for a little bit of era score. And I might be able to go and snag a settler, which I'm unlikely to do anything with. But you can't can't offer me a three settlers.
Shuttler in this game and not expect me to bite, you know? That's just, that's just my weakness. Oh no, I lost the warrior. The Shuttler was totally a siren that called me into the seam and I died. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Oh, yeah, this is what I was hoping for. Okay, I, I've lost the iron here, but it's, it's worth waiting. Trust me, it's worth waiting because I don't want to rile her friendship. Yeah, there you go. Now we have a friend. Now I feel much better about settling two cities right on her coast. Sheffield and Plymouth. We've still got access to one of the sources of iron. This city will still have a really decent Royal Naval Dockyard. This is what I mean about the chopping, by the way. 75 production needed. I get 56 of it. Bam. One turn. That's why this Pantheon is so good with England. And we can chop another one out there. And we get the grievances. We only get it once, even though we settled twice. That's why we waited. Yes, it cost me a source of iron, but that's fine. At some point, we've got to start on the pressure and Hong Kong can actually hit a couple of Vietnam's perimeter cities so it's good to have space for these great works. Let's start working on this stuff now. Cities like Leeds, Bristol, Manchester I'm going to start putting theatre squares into. I wasn't too interested in them until I got to humanism but it might tie up quite nicely now. Lighthouse, lighthouse, all of the lighthouses, yes. There's a lot of space in North Japan. If I did want to settle somewhere on this map that'd be really good and off to the left of Portugal as well. These spaces are quite far away from me and we know that there's a huge island over here that's regularly left alone so I am very tempted to go out and just start colonizing. Second source of iron. Amazing. I wondered why my science had jumped up dramatically there and it's because Vietnam is improving their capital. Now they have plus one science on all trade routes to them. Amazing. That's what you want to see and Plymouth has a bunch of luxuries. I don't know if people are still buying amber. Is amber something people want? Oh yeah it is. Oh yeah it is. I think there's quite a unification war going on in China at the moment and looks like Yonglei is losing which I am amazed by. Yonglei should be absolutely stomping this but they're not. I mean unless Wu is losing this city but I don't think they are. Huh. I'm looking forward to seeing how this evolves. This is going to be very funny. Let's get a few more theatre squares done now. Bristol you can get one going in a second. Theatre squares I mean the adjacency is not really important because it's not what I'm building them for and also I don't have any wonders. So even if I did want it to be important it physically can't be. And I've finally got my first book. First of many hopefully. Just a little bit of loyalty pressure. Not much. Just a smidge. But that's all you need. 140 to buy a tile. Sell the luxury on it. The 316. Profit. 10 population capital. That's right. We're just working these things slowly slowly. Apprenticeship into engineering. We're gonna get some amazing industrial zones down shortly. Mass production is boosted. And I've got my boats out exploring again. We were holding off just because I was pretty convinced that Coupe was going to attack me. I feel a little more secure now. I'm just waiting with some galleys as well. We're just about to circumnavigate the globe. I want to drop the era score next turn into the medieval era. The medieval era. I am in a golden age. I suspect everyone around me is going to be in a golden age as well because the AI tends to do quite well in the medieval era but we'll have a look. Serfdom in you get. Veterancy is still very important for every time I settle a city. Urban planning? Less so. Let's get caravassanaries instead. Vietnam. Golden age. That's a shame. Yonglei. Wu Chen. All in golden ages. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's the renaissance. That's when we're going to strike. Maybe. We can still go three inquiry. Oh, that means all my harbors are going to be giving me science. Yes. I've got to go for one error of that. That's almost doubled my science per turn. And we're just about to go for naval tradition as well. That doubles my harbors again. I like that. Okay. Let's discover now that the world is round. We've been waiting for some time. Oh, Coupe is going to lose this city to me. Oh, that'll be the first one. The first of many, hopefully. I'd love it if we could produce buildings in the city center quicker. And I would love it as well if I could culture bomb. Because I could really annoy my ally with that. Very much annoy my ally with that. Yes, I can. Right. I want this iron. I, <laughs> I want this iron. So I'm actually going to make this into a theater square. Actually, do I do that? Or do I go for that as a campus and then put this as a theater square? That'll steal these towers. Yes. World is round. I'm the first to figure that out as well. Yay. Military emergency. Young Lei has captured Shanghai. Oh, that is a unification attempt. Do we want to get involved in a military emergency? I'm going to say probably not. Seeing as my army is really weak. I'm out. Shanghai's over there. Yonglei's way stronger than me. No, I'm going to vote down against.
alliance that I want to remain peaceful with my neighbors because I can probably grab all of these cities just with the court of love. That's what I'm going to go for here. This barb camp though, bam, that's awesome. I mean, maybe I could have taken Nanjing. We've got to stay focused. That's often what people get distracted with in this game is they just get really, really waylaid with ideas here, there and everywhere. Nope, let's keep focused. People are still buying iron for ludicrous amounts of gold. Well, as we get our industrial zone set up, what's next? I think cartography, we can't keep putting that off any longer, can we? Let's go and work that. And we finally found Bandar Brunei. Now again, we're not looking to try and win over this city-state. That would be impossible. But what we can do is just put three envoys in there. That means that shipyards are going to get plus four gold and lighthouses now get plus two. It's a big bonus. Unbelievably, Portugal has only managed to rack up 53 gold per turn. That for me is the biggest surprise of the game so far. Who's winning? It's turn 94. We've got Korea on 29 techs to my 20. They're nine ahead. France is winning the culture victory, but nobody's really got much tourism. Religion is being won by Russia. Diplomacy, I'm winning on two points. Maybe a diplomatic victory is going to be the one we're going to have to go for today. Don't know. I don't know. We will see. At the moment, I'm just rushing towards humanism. That's my big boost. Spain. Spain did spawn in and they are on this island today. Okay. Does make a little bit of sense. And they've got so many luxuries. Oh, an alliance with France. It doesn't feel very English, but we'll do it because they are actually friends with a lot of people. Yeah, decent relations with a lot of people on this map so far. Have a look and see how much of this continent is through to settle on. I fear the answer is going to be less than I am used to. These islands down in the south, though, this is not a bad idea as somewhere to settle. And is this Hokkaido? I think this could be a good place to settle as well. There are loads of places on the map. They're just ages away, but that's never stopped England before. Naval tradition. Let's put naval infrastructure immediately into my government because, look, 18 more science. We're on 114 science per turn on turn 96, and I haven't finished the campus yet. This is the sort of random game that sometimes you can have with harbor strategy. Very powerful. Now, humanism is a misdirection. We've got to go for recorded history. This is where having campuses would have been useful. Another plantation. Some more spices. I'm just going to immediately sell on. Selling them to Indonesia. That surprises me. Normally, Indonesia is all over spices, but what are you going to do? Escape's capital, looking as marvelous as ever. France is just wandering a settler around. It knows that they have friendship with me, so they're, they're just being like that. Military engineering boosted. And here is a governor. And now I can put in provision. I changed my mind on provision. I do kind of want it. Let's get this settler. We're going to settle this little tea island. English going after an island of tea? Hmm, very unrealistic indeed. But that is now some more turtles. And ooh, three turns away, hopefully, from Coupe flipping on this city. That would be good. I'm still really intrigued to see if Coupe is going to do the old America special again in this game. Like they killed them so quickly. I reckon there was probably a bit of a forward settle and that might have helped with loyalty maybe. Although, like a bit of an ironclad rush, something like that could work very well. Is Ludwig at war again? Ludwig has not been able to get off through this game yet with Yong Lei again. They lost Arkan to them before. Berlin is there. You can tell me off all you want. You're, you're dying. You are absolutely losing this game. When I did culture bomb that iron. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yep. Let's go work that immediately. This iron is a very useful tool for me to sell. I mean, look at it. 40 for 34 gold per turn. I'm just waiting until my stockpile is, is as full as it can be. The Dutch don't like me because I'm not trading with them. You are literally the other side of the world. I am doing my best, but that is very unfair, I feel. Military tactics is done now. And I think cartography. At least I can boost my city strength just a little bit and feel a little bit more secure than I have been. Turn 100, by the way. How are we doing? 119 science, 264 gold per turn. Those are the important metrics. I am not losing science, but everyone below me is having a poor game. So I should probably keep picking the science up. We're now getting a lot of different theater squares. One, two, three, four, five being built. One already there. Actually, no, this one's finished as well. And there are a few cities that are beginning to waver in loyalty, even in golden ages. So I reckon next age, we're going to strike. And we're going to strike very effectively indeed. And it's going to be very funny. Civil service. Right. Vietnam. Oh, there's all kinds of different alliances. I could take four gold from every trade route. That would give me 24 gold. Or two science from every trade route. That would give me 12 science per turn. I think I might have to take science. Although, yeah, they're not so keen on that. Cultural alliance, military alliance, religious alliance. Oh, they want a religious alliance. No, that's the worst one. Why would I Why would I do that? Three gold per turn. Fine, I'll pay you for it. But I'm hoping this will work out well. Yes, and I do have one trade route to France. All right, go for an economic alliance with you. No, you don't want that either. Why is 
the AI being so rubbish. I mean, normally I get people to pay for alliances with me, so this is perfect revenge, but it just feels wrong. Wabam! The first city flips to me. The unification is wonderful. And the era score is even better. Got a lovely campus. It doesn't yet have a Royal Naval Dockyard. Oh, we can fix that pretty quick. Plunk it there, and then it gives the campus extra adjacency. And is that a bunch of turtles? Oh, it is. I can sell them. Immediately sell all the turtles. Yes, this is the Ursa way. Hello world, I have a new city. Would you like to celebrate with me by paying for turtles? England discovers cartography. Amazing, you gotta love it. The barbs are still trying to get in, but uh, they won't. Once we get cartography, then we'll pick up mass production, and then we've got shipyards, and England gets a little bit crazy whenever they pick up shipyards. Looking forward to that one. You see, I was thinking I was going to buy in all of my great works from other people, but Rumi, only a thousand gold, and this is the writer that gives great works that are plus four culture and it's a bunch of era score hell yeah that's why we're earning 323 gold per turn all oh, these barbs are pretty terrifying it's a caravel i should not have moved my boat there but never mind another city of hull on top of some tea excellent yep that was one of my nicer boats destroyed in one turn ah oh, china you really need to deal with those barbs you really do i mean i guess i could deal with them that that is also true but i feel like they're not my problem oh they're part they could my unit. Apart from that, they're not my problem. The city says that it's minus five, which I don't like the look of, but Liverpool should be all right if I just chop out this marsh really quickly. It's expensive work, but I'm buying in great works now. The loyalty pressure begins. I'm not even at humanism yet. That's the best bit. It's gonna just get worse and worse and worse for the AI. Now, remember, Vietnam is in a golden age right now. This is as good as they're ever gonna be, and they have 0.3 loyalty in this border city. 17 in this one, 21 in this one. Oh yeah, they're gonna start really suffering in a second. 4.5, again, golden age sieve. Just biding my time very soon, very soon indeed. I'll be in the lovely position where I'll be in a golden age and other people around me will not be. Liverpool, by the way, already loyal. That's what I mean, just chop out a single tile. It's fine. Oh, America's being killed by Spain. Oh, they're gonna lose St. Louis if they're not careful. And if they lose that island, Spain will island hop right up with very little problem. Who's winning technologically? out of Spain and America. America's on 28 techs to Spain's 28. And I'm on 24 to put it in context. So yeah, interesting. Oh no, Spain might have missed their opportunity there. The walls are up. The walls are up. Spain have, uh, yeah, missed their opportunity. That's a shame. I really want to see a sieve just go absolutely nuts militarily. Never seen a genuine AI domination victory. Imagine the day when that happens. Oh, terrifying. You know, I reckon the time has come. I'm going to take this settler and looking around, there isn't much possibility around me. I'm going to head north. I'm going to bring the settler all the way over here to this island of Hokkaido. It's going to be ridiculous, but maybe we'll have Hicksong Draconas before we get there and we'll be able to settle a massive city and it'll all be good. This is what England does. Settles random cities ages away and goes, that was always mine. Maybe we'll go over and settle these islands as well. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. We'll, we'll play it by ear. Yeah, look, there you go. Vietnam has put a governor in to stop me taking this city. They're in a golden age and we're barely there. Like, I've barely finished any of my theatre squares on the border. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be so much fun. Medieval fairs, then guilds, then humanism. Yes, feeling more and more human by the day. And an industrial zone has pretty much been given to me as well. Leeds can join in with this now. And there's monarchy. Ah, monarchy. Very handy indeed. Okay, serfdom, harbour adjacency, Republican legacy. The economic cards kind of fill themselves in very easily. But then what do we do? I'm thinking retainers. Getting some units, popping them in my cities for a little bit of happiness. Things I'm only getting one immunity from that at the moment and I could buy in a load of scouts but that would cost me probably about 1,320 to get one into every city and I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe I'll switch that card over. Actually I'm going to be getting guilds within a few turns. That'll give me a better card because my industrial zones will get better. Yeah let's do that instead. I'd rather use my gold on great people on shipyards. Actually shipyards is going to be really important next turn. Let's use my gold on that. Here we go. This is exactly what I meant before. We've got a plus four Royal Naval Dockyard, which means it should be plus eight with my doubling card. However, when I have a look at it, it's plus 12. The extra plus two, it gets just from being on another continent. That's, it, it's perfect. So if I now buy a shipyard in this city, you'll see it gives me 12 production as well as a bunch of extra gold. Oh, that's a really good city now. We're going to focus on getting out in the cities with the bigger adjacencies. Then we'll go in from there. Looking forward to it. That'll be cool. Let's see if we've got night up and then I'm going to industrialize to get coal as quick as I can. Don't forget, as England, any building
anything that gets any yield when it's powered, like a factory, gets plus four. So that factory is actually worth plus seven. It's amazing. Yeah, retainers is useless. Let's put maritime industries in just for a second. Might be able to pump a couple of boats out. And then Amani. I'm going to put Amani into Singapore because this is really, really good. Singapore, if we can take control of Singapore, that's two production for each civilization I have a trade route to. Later into the game, that's going to be huge. I mean, on a scale of one to 10, an unescorted Dutch settler in a place where I could make a colony. How tempting is this? This is the sort of opportunity I feel that won't come around very often. Indonesia or Spain potentially would go for a joint war with me here. You know, if I could stir up trouble, I think I'm obligated to do it. Now, I might take a couple of grievances for doing this, but I'm not taking any cities per se. So that is okay. Spain are not going to get involved, but here you go. Free settler. Indonesia should keep the Dutch quite busy, hopefully. In the meantime, more shipyards. That's why 14 production in Manchester. Look at that. Yes. Thank you so much. That's a huge amount of production. Now, what I'm hoping is I don't get denounced by too many people. 100 grievances is some, but it shouldn't be so many that people really start to dislike me. No, it hasn't changed my relationships of many people at all. Well, where do we settle? I suggest we move away from the area that Indonesia, sorry, the Netherlands can be found. On these islands up here, this could be cool. There's a lot of pearls, a lot of amber. Might go for the pearls as the priority. Yeah, look at this. City center and then Royal Naval Dockyard. That's a plus five, which makes it a plus seven. Or oh, love it. Kukupe has denounced me, but Kukupe denounced me before, right? That's nothing new. Sometimes I have to keep up with these denouncements. Like, is that an expected thing? Is anyone sure? No, no one's sure. That is a lighthouse though. Yes. Already the city I took from Kupe. That's coming along nicely. Barbarian Caravel. Hmm, that could be problematic. Right, let's actually put you onto land and then get the galley to run away a little bit. These islands to the right of Spain as well. This is all unoccupied. Interesting. There are still places for me to settle. Not many, but they do exist. Santa Cruz forms an armada out of a military naval unit. Oh yeah, and there we go. Yi Sun Sin instantly creates an ironclad. Ah, Indonesia is probably going to grab you, but that would have been a good combo. Maybe we can get the battleship later on. That's not the worst idea. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to quickly build walls in these two cities. Hull is not so important, but these two cities are Manchester and Bradford. Might just pop Maritime Industries off next turn. I, I just get the feeling Coupe is revving up to something. A couple of trebuchets just lurking in the waters. I don't mind somebody getting a little bit angsty, but I'd rather you didn't do it in my land. Just to help things along, another shipyard. Look at this. Bam. Oh, the production. So there's Craftsman, which would be useful, but I'm going to pop in limes very briefly. It's important to get these walls up. One turn, one turn, one turn, two turns. Yeah, this will be fine. In fact, even my capital, I might as well throw in walls quickly. Just anywhere that's got a remote chance of coupe attacking. Maybe this city as well? Mm, I'll get the dockyard up first. Now that we've got Magnus and Pingala, and Amani is in Singapore, I'm going to pick up Affluence, because this gives me a copy of its luxuries. Then we'll go for Strategics, then we'll go for Puppeteer to double my envoys, and that will give me a pretty decent chance of making sure that we can grab Singapore. Ah, Humanism, Art Museums. Excellent. How many great artists have appeared in this game so far? Just the one. Rush has got them. That's not bad. That means, because we're way before the Renaissance era, yeah, we're still 16 turns away from it. That's good. There will be no shortage of art in this game. Sometimes you can have games where none of the artists will pick up, and without the artists, that's just a lot of ammunition that Eleanor would normally use. Out of the game. Unavailable. But no, today. Today we should be fine. Oh, here comes Coupe. Okay, okay, okay. There's a lot of anger here. There's a lot of anger here. It's a surprise war against me. Now, this is good. This means he's just generated 150 grievances against me. That more than balances out the 100 I have against the Netherlands. So overall, the world should like me now. Plus, what I can do, now that I've thrown all the walls up, that's really useful, is go to everyone that Coupe has met, including Germany, Spain, and America. Let's see how many people want to get involved in this war. America loves the idea of that war. Spain wants in as well. Not against the Netherlands, but Spain is, yeah, very cool to go in against Coupe. In Germany, everyone has gone in. So Germany has meant that Coupe has just declared war on six people at the same time. Maybe not deliberately, but they did. Now, one big problem is that my city at the moment doesn't have any range strength, but that can be fixed. First of all, I'm just going to go for machinery to get some crossbows, and I'm going to sell my iron on the open market. Anyone want to buy some iron? Yeah, Germany does. Amazing. Now I need to go and ask, does anyone have any night to spare? Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of night to spare. 21 is all we need for now. Thank you, Portugal. Now we get to go into a city with a shipyard. This one will do, and buy for myself a frigate, my first unit with nitre, but now my cities have 55 strength. That is substantially stronger. Yeah, you weren't expecting 
affecting that way, Coupe. He's gone from having no defense whatsoever to being pretty resistant to any naval strike. And actually, if we build up a little bit of a navy here, I could take a couple of cities from Coupe and I would not be the grievance master. So actually, this city and the one down here, these two are going to be targets. I reckon this war declared on me. I'm going to use this as a great excuse. So let's pick up mercenaries quickly. I'm going to just change away. The artwork will have to wait, but that's fine. We'll go mercenaries to upgrade my troops. Then we'll pick up press gangs in order to double build units and we'll start to produce a bit of a navy. We'll see how much of an army coupe brings. There are a lot of trebuchets here. That's what I'm going to be focusing my attention on first. Trebuchets can actually destroy walls and the galleys, quadrimes, these are, these are fine. These are very weak units. They're going to hit my frigate a little bit, but I've got, yeah, that, that frigate's fine. Did you see how I bought one extra knighter, by the way? Good reason for that. That means I can heal the unit. If you've got no knighter, the unit will never heal. Two trebuchets already destroyed, and as you can see, there is a caravel coming in, but my frigate can pretty much one-hit units, which is very, very handy. Quadrimes, I'm going to mass build these now, because buying the knighter in and upgrading them at half price is way cheaper. In fact, actually, quite a few cities are just going to join in on this one. I know, I know I was building other stuff, but this may turn into a very good opportunity for me to expand my lands. Ursa likes this. Ursa likes this a lot. And also Santa Cruz, I'm absolutely going to make my frigate into an armada. I mean, why not? It's such a powerful unit. Oh, these barbs are so annoying. Okay, Santa Cruz says, form an armada out of a unit. I will. That's very, very handy. It will not, unfortunately, boost the city strength on the attack. If I wanted to do that, I should have done it on a quadrium and then upgraded it later. But what this does do is provide me with an absolutely blisteringly powerful unit. America is accepting an alliance. That is awesome. A military alliance will give me plus five combat strength against Coupe. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, Spain has denounced me. We were at war with the same person, Spain. I'm going to question your judgment call on that one. Oh, the caravel decided to just charge into the walls of my stronger city. Do we think that's a good idea or not? The, the answer is no. Two workshops done, industrialized, boosted. Very, very close to getting factories now. Oh, that's going to make a big difference. Let's see if we can blow this caravel up. I reckon we can. Yes, we can. Excellent. Well, Portugal has now joined in with my war against the Dutch. That will end up being quite helpful. Limes has pretty much done it for me, so let's now pop in Maritime Industries. This will speed up my quadrarine production to ridiculous levels. My awesome frigate is now a bombardment specialist. So far, so good. Oh, and there we go. Industrialization. Oh, please tell me we've got coal. Two sources of it. <gasps> That coal is under an industrial zone. That means that my capital's industrial zone actually gets more adjacency. That is incredible. And there's some over there here. We've got two sources. How much is out there? Are there other options? Oh, I think Vietnam is actually destroying this city from Coupe. I'm going to have to go and quickly see if I can intrude here. Yeah, yeah, they are. I want to sweep in and claim this city if I can. How many sources of coal have we got? That's unavailable. That's unavailable. This one I've got. This one I've got. That is Kublai's. It's in Japan. In Japan, Russia, I could claim that one. Oh, hang on. Oh, Japan is unfortunately settling into Hokkaido. Like, I, I have been traveling up this entire way. It's just so far. My units only have short legs. Plus two movement for embarked units. It's almost coming a little too late. Oh, well, what can you do? First step, factory. This is only going to be three production for the city or not. It's plus 10. Why is it plus 10? It's not powered. It's it, like, it's not powered. Why is, I, I don't know why that's giving it plus 10. Okay, we'll take it. If it's going to give me plus 10, 10 from factory. Here it is. I mean, that's awesome. Look at how many cities it's actually hitting. Plymouth, Sheffield, Hong Kong, Leeds, and Birmingham. It's a beautiful start. Okay, Vietnam did take the city and they've got enough loyalty to keep it, which is incredible, but they won't keep that forever. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I was actually going to claim that one. Never mind. They won't keep loyalty on that city forever. They will hit a dark age at some point and I will seize it from them. So I'll claim it. But yeah, Coupe massively, massively underestimated what was going to happen with this war. Let's produce units quicker. That would be awesome. And I'd love it if I get the culture bombs again. I'm going to throw four votes in on that and two votes in on production and hope that we get the points. Just subtle little point accumulation is what we really need. Production. I don't know about Katan. We've done it again. Great. Now, what was my... Oh, I just did a trade. I just made that trader and it's immediately got pillaged. Don't like that. Oh, just as I hoped. Coal is a very expensive commodity. Excellent. Well, Hong Kong. Yeah, look, the factory's now down to plus three. I don't know what was going on there, but I mean, whatever. Coal power plant is now done. 
and I'm going to start using spies on offensive missions this game. I'm going to use it to start tipping cities over. So intelligence agency time. Bam. Look at that. 68 damage against the city with my frigate. Yeah, go on then. Stop me if you think you're powerful enough. I cannot get this settler over to this side of the map because this sea is littered with barbarians. It's ridiculous. I'm doing my best to thread the needle here, but there are so many barbarians. It's ridiculous. Yep, look at that. It just got swooped in by Caravel and two different quadrimes just appeared from nowhere. I was doing my best. Ah, oh, the war with the Dutch. Totally for nothing. I did what I could, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Okay, smoke is bellowing. Eight turns left on this era. We have nine era score that we need. Only nine. Feels achievable. I reckon this city will be a lovely addition to my collection, so we're gonna just move in here. Do I want to pillage this harbor? I think I'd rather actually keep it. So I'm gonna get three era score from this campus. One era score from getting humanism. It's my first civic in the Renaissance era. I can upgrade one of my caravels to an ironclad for another era score and I'm not far from sea dog but I don't think I'm going to get that anytime soon. Hmm yeah era score might be a little tricky here but I reckon we can probably find something. I should really be building a lot of units right now. A lot of units. Let's do that. The world congress is in my favor. Anyway we've got one hit there. Can I take the city? This is going to be really close you know. Oh next turn the walls may actually finish annoyingly before we take it but never mind. Oh Russia wants to be a friend. Another ally. Actually a cultural alliance with Russia would be really good. Yeah, they normally pay through the roof for these. Oh, Young Lei has denounced me. That is unfortunate. And Korea. Korea denounced me because my science output is woeful. That's that's damning. Maybe allying Russia wasn't a good idea. Allying Russia was not a good idea. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. I like having friends. Humanism will make that a lot easier because now I am actually allied with both Russia and France. Both of those are the two civilizations making the most artist points by far. So that's good. We've got options now. Oh, this caravel of it has actually left itself pretty exposed so I can actually get the little kill with the tiny boats and then this is one of those things it's like where do you think you're going? I've now got an ironclad. Huzzah! Wabam! And this city is now mine. Thank you Coupe. How are the grievances? It'll settle out next turn. City occupied 75 so actually if we made peace now the grievances would be exactly zero. Look at that. A surprise war costs exactly one city. Oh I'm the first person to actually make a coal unit. That's amazing. Well steam power it's very useful indeed but now I need to just get basic tech. Castles, stirrups, siege tactics, something like that. Make sure we don't fall too far behind in the stuff that really matters. A second source of coal as well. 10 per turn bringing in steel boosted. That's a good boost. Oh and my settlers can move so much quicker now. Brilliant. I think I'm gonna just settle right on top of those dies. Yeah the loyalty isn't great but I'll pop Magnus in immediately and then bam we'll settle everywhere. Okay I lost one of my little boats but I don't mind that. I'm just stack building them at the moment. What really matters is using my little boats just to cause chaos compound to surround so that my ironclad can come in all flanking and just go chomp. The Dutch want a little bit of gold. How about I give you a present of coal for Christmas? No they don't want that. What about iron? Yeah they'll take some iron. There you go. Peace. Peace in our time. Okay barbs might make this a little bit tougher than I was hoping but we'll see what we can settle. I might be able to just settle straight on top of that coal actually. That would be handy. A spy. A spy. Okay, which is the most likely city to flip? This one here. I like this city. It's right in the middle. I'm going to send you over. It's going to take seven turns to get there, but hopefully my spy will begin to get a little bit more upgraded very soon. With all these trade routes opening up now. I'm favoring the ones to Vietnam just because of the science they're giving me. I'm about to lose my golden age, which means my science is going to, what's the correct way of saying this? Absolutely tank. So I'm just trying to preserve this for as long as I can. I'm also getting shipyards into every city that will accept one. Huge chunk of production in a lot of these cities. Plus I've got a lot of a monopoly on admirals now. Foreign investor. Oh that gives me horses from Singapore. Lovely. Oh no the settler can actually land here. We better do that then. Now that I've got a base I'm probably going to go like Hicksonk Draconis and just settle around. Looking at the way the land is lying I could settle on top of the coal right on this river out on that tiny island and then probably a couple of cities over by Russia as well because I've got a cultural alliance. Yeah this could be really cheeky. I love it. It would be fun to settle there but I just don't want to take the risk. There was a barb. Two era score. There wasn't. It would have been fine. Never mind. Magnus immediately get over there. The city of Norwich. Oh what a grand city. I'll buy a unit over in a second. I think I'll try and chop out a Royal Naval Dockyard immediately. Iron is still selling for a lot of gold. Like a lot of gold. It won't last forever but we're currently going through the sort of middle of the game where I think a lot of the AI is building cursars and knights
lights and stuff like that. How's the coal market? Sometimes this is a little bit slower to get going. Oh, but it's big. 22 coal is worth over 900 gold. Yes, this is where we need to be as English as possible to sell this for vast quantities. I want to get a good peace deal with Coupe. So I'm going to start threatening their cities with my ironclad. Uh, there are just over here. I could probably do some pillaging as well. If we're still at war in a second. I might even send over sea dogs. I don't know. We'll see. See how we feel. Just making sure I buy all the books from Russia whilst they're my ally. I've now got nine of them and we're building art museums, which is lovely. Three year score from the campus means that I have hit the golden age. It was never in doubt. Maybe 200 science. Briefly, we're at 200 science. That will not last. We can enjoy it whilst it's here. Okay, Coupe is around here. There's a lot of units, but nothing we can't handle. Chocolate Hills. Oh, that would have been a nice chunk of era score as well. Yeah, I reckon we can force a peace deal from Coupe if I start hitting their city a little bit. Chop out the Royal Naval Dockyard with the Pantheon. Again, it takes us to one turn. Isn't it cool? See, before the Golden Age finishes, I'm going to pick up a university next to a mountain. That gives me the astronomy boost. And I just need another university, which I should be able to get in this city. And that'll be the printing boost. A spy from a Chinese empire was killed trying to neutralize a governor in the city of Hong Kong. Doesn't sound very believable at all. University printing boost. Yay. Coupe is offering me a peace deal now. If I can grab a city from them, they'll offer me a lot more gold. At the moment, they're asking for eight gold per turn, which isn't too bad, to be fair. Just feel like I can game him a little bit more into giving me some stuff. Oh, that's a barbarian settler. Oh my lord, if I could grab that, this would have been worth it entirely. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Diebel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.